Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Angela, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about some of the shipping supplies that I use, mailers, bags, tape, stickers, all that, and where I get them from. So just like most people, I get most of my supplies from Amazon. Um, so I have an Etsy shop, and then I also have a um, business business that is downstairs in my basement and for that business business I use different mailers than my Etsy shop so for my Etsy shop I use 10 by 13 Paula mailers and I do birthday stuff hence the sprinkles and 10 by 13 is perfect for kid size shirts even normal adult shirts would also fit in this but this is what I use this is the packet chic brand they are really great quality and that is why I use them and I do use a black and white checkered plaid one for my boys uh, shirts and then this one for the girls shirts. You will find like some mailers on Amazon. It sucks because they're like cheap and I bought so many mailers but I try to stick to the packet chic brand because they're pretty good. And then there's iMailers which is another good brand on Amazon and they'll all be linked down below for you. Now I have another Etsy shop where I sell like hoodies and stuff and this is what the size bag I use. This is 12 and a half inch by 15. And the colors match my business, so that's why I chose just this matte blackish color. And again, they're really, really good quality. Um, so I use these as well. And again, 12, I think it's 12 by 15 and a half. Um, they're better for like hoodies and thicker items. Few shirts can fit in here. Um, I do have a bigger version if I need to ship like two or three hoodies, um, which is the 14 and a half by 19 for, for these, but these also from Amazon. And then also from Amazon, I buy these uh, bags. I usually buy them in bulk, about 500. Um, and these are self-sealing cellophane bags. Uh, and I use these for the hoodies um, just because they're bigger. And I did use these when I used to make tutus. I put my tutus in here. Um, it just gives it an extra layer of protection in case one of the mailers gets broken. Well, this isn't broken. So I always suggest... Um, I don't ever suggest just shipping in a mailer because they are so easy to get ripped. UPS, post office, FedEx, it just happens. So you want another layer of protection in there. And I also use these for my kids shirts. These are 10 by 13 um, cellophane ceiling bags. They, I think they're like called t-shirt bags. And it gives it a crispier look to the t-shirt versus a wrinkled up bag or no bag at all. Um, it keeps it protected just like I said, but this is what I usually use for like kids t-shirts, even adults t-shirts. Some t-shirts are too big to fit in here, but I like to use these. So also depending on your business, whether you're doing like a lot, a lot of shipping or just um, like Etsy and home small, qu smaller quantities, you can use this, this tape. This is the Sure Start tape and it's so quiet. When I had, uh, my, when Roman, my son was younger, we had to, I had to work with him, so taping and packaging boxes, it was so loud. So when I finally find the Scotch Sure Start tape, it definitely helps. So I recommend that if you have little ones at home and you need to package while they're taking naps or anything, I would use that. Now, if you're doing a lot of packaging and a lot of shipping, I don't have it up here, but the tape, the tape, uh, I don't know how to, I can say that word, tape, G-U-N, <laughs> um, I use that. And all my tape I get from Amazon, I get the Duck Easy, what is it? The Duck HD, I think it's called. Let me look real quick. Yeah. So I use the Duck HD clear tape. It is great tape, excellent quality. I use that for my business downstairs because we ship boxes all day long. Um, and I have it on a subscribe and save because I know I'm going to order it again. Just like these mailers, I get uh, mailers every three weeks. So 100 mailers every three weeks. And you do save a little bit if you do do the subscribe and save. So I suggest that if you are at a point where you have consistent sales. So my business in the basement is AJ Blanks and um, we ship a lot of items so I wanted it to be like branded. So I have branded um, packing stickers um, which look like this. Focus. This is what they look like um, and I ordered I think it was 5,000. I could be wrong. Um, and I know like Sticker Mule and um, Vista Print, like other companies like that do sell them. But I got these from Label In. I found them on um, TikTok. And they are based in the U.S. So you get your stickers uh, pretty quickly. I think it was about a week and a half from when I ordered to when I got them. And they're really, really good quality. Like they're thick. 
um so i really do like these and i like that they're on the roll because they glide off super easily and it was a lot cheaper than other um companies that i've seen like sticker mule and stuff because it, it really wasn't that expensive um i believe it was like a few cents a sticker um if that I don't remember the exact cost, but I know that it was cheaper than all the other websites, which is why I didn't buy stickers to begin with because I couldn't justify spending so much. But you just have your own design made, which Marble Mauve, which is my sister on Etsy, she designed my AJ Blanks thank you sticker. So she put your logo. Thank you for supporting my small business. Um, so if you want a custom logo um, made for stickers, you can go ahead. I'll put her Etsy shop in the description so that you can reach out and see if she can make you something similar to this. So you just upload it to um, Labelin's website and they'll send you a proof and you approve, deny. They have different sizes and everything. They have like big labels um, for like, I know like a lot of like cookie companies use her. I'm saying her like if I, I think it's, I think it's her. Uh, cookie companies, like cosmetic companies. Um, you can check out the Instagram, it's Labelin. So uh, yeah, not sponsored, but I like their stickers. And then for my mailers, which is the number one question I get. Where do I get my custom mailers from? And this is what my custom mailers look like. They're really good quality. They're thick, which was, it was nerve-wracking trying to buy, um, you know, custom mailers because you don't know the quality and how they're going to come out. But they're very, very, very good quality. This is the 12 and a half by 15 inch or 12 by 15 inch, something like that. Mailers. And then I also have the bigger size, which is the 14 and a half by 19 inches. This would fit about like 20 of my shirts. This fits about 10. Um, and then up from there, you, I would just ship items in a box. Um, shipping in a box obviously costs more because it weighs more and the dimensions and UPS charges by dimensions. So um, I try to ship in bags. Even when you ship like overseas or international, they ship they charge more like duties and everything on a box versus a bag i've learned that um just being in the business for a while so bags don't get charged as much so i try to fit as much as i can in a bag and i even double bag um if i'm shipping overseas if i feel as though it's necessary so yeah i got these mailers off of alibaba let me find the name of the company the lady i work with her name is puff and the company name is Anhui Province Taihu Zihong Plastic Co. That. So, I'll just put a link <laughs> in the description because uh, this is the company's uh, Alibaba. So, that that's that's what it is. And um, I just Googled, I not Googled, but I went on Alibaba and just searched it. So they have a bunch of different mailers on there. So um, that's who I use. Uh, this is probably, I've placed like five or six orders with them. It does take about a month and a half to get them. Um, so just order in advance. That's what I do. I order large quantities. It'll last me like two or three months. And then I place another order so that I always have some coming. Um, so that is one thing. And let's see, price-wise... It is definitely more expensive than getting like the 100 ones off Amazon because obviously these are mass produced and the, these are custom. So these cost me, where is my thing? So for the smaller bag, the 12 by 15, a thousand of them cost me $373 and that includes shipping. Um, so that's 37 cents a bag. So this is about what, 10 cents a bag. So it's almost four times the cost. But again, because I have a, this is a, a bigger business. That's why I justify the cost. 37 cents. I mean, a box itself is, um, way more expensive. The box boxes are like a dollar 50 to $2. Sometimes even three, because I get my boxes from Uline.com. If you're curious also, yeah. I get all my boxes from Uline.com. I've tried um, custom boxes from a company in the U.S. I forgot their name, but they were horrible. They were the cheapest boxes ever. Like, horrible. I would never... It, it was like package brand. I don't know. I don't want to even name the wrong name and mess up someone else's company. So, long story short, the boxes I got were garbage. So, 37 cents is really not that bad for a custom... Um, 
custom bag now it depends on your logo obviously you have more colors or anything they probably will charge more you want a different color bag they'll probably charge more i don't know um you have to speak to them and find out but yeah that was like the biggest question i got was where i got my mailers with my um with my logo on them also yes uline.com is where i get pretty much everything else when it comes to like uh, the boxes um like the packing paper what else do I get? I get so much stuff from Uline. So I like them because you get things next day because their warehouses in PA. I'm in Maryland. They have different warehouses everywhere, but it's usually next day. So I don't have to like stay stocked or stocked up. But the shipping cost though, shipping is more than the boxes, man. It, I'm like, really? But it's part of the whole shipping process. Some boxes will end up costing me $3, some two, some one. Just depends um, on the size of the box. I did also have thank you cards, but I can't find them right now. And thank you cards I got from Vistaprint, business cards from Vistaprint. Um, they're pretty cheap, so you just get your thank you for shopping with my small business card. You can make a discount code, add that in with your shipping, with your with your orders, and uh, you can use that as another way to market yourself. And yeah, also for la for label printer, I have the Rolo label printers. They're linked down below. I know a lot of people also have the Munbin printers as well, and I've heard nothing but good things. Those are the ones that like. They have pink, they have um, like teal color. So they're all on Amazon. So again, I'll have one big link to everything um, that you can purchase for shipping on Amazon down below. The labels you can get from UPS.com for free. You ship with UPS or you just buy them on Amazon as well. But yeah, it's pretty much it. I hope I answered your question on where I get my custom packaging and all my mailing supplies. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!